friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will make a practical experiment for our this arduino code this code i presented in my last video and how we can write the code what are the conditional arguments to write the code and we made a practical by simulating the battery with this potentiometer but today we will not use this potentiometer we will use a practical battery voltage and we will use this power supply as a battery charger and we will use a relay module this one to control the battery charging and we will use this capacitor it is 5600 microfarad capacitor 50 volt and we will charge this capacitor and we will discharge it for that purpose I will use a 22 kilo ohm resistor as a load it will be connected as a load and I will control the current charging current by adding 6.8 K resistor so we can monitor the battery I am not using battery because if you connect battery it will take too much time until it will become charged first of all we will make connections I will remove this potentiometer now we have this ground pin so we will connect this ground pin to the battery ground this ground is connected to battery ground and in my last video I told that we will use 4.7k resistor and 2.2k resistor 4.7k and 2.2k resistor the common point will go to the analog pin to read the voltage yes that is here and we will make the lower end of this resistor as a ground pin now we will not use this 5 volt signal because this time we will take signal from the battery so we will apply positive voltage in the top side of this resistor 4.7k resistor and now we will connect our relay module we will connect VCC voltage and the ground voltage and we will control the last one relay K4 relay or we can use any one relay 1, 2, 3, 4 because it is 4 relay module if you want to use one relay module that is also available you can use that one now this one is positive voltage and this one is ground so we will connect to the VCC and ground we will take from the DC rail from this uh, breadboard always check here for the voltage polarity it must be the good polarity yes ground is connected and positive is connected and we will connect this to the signal point we will connect to relay number 4 so our 4 number relay 1 2 3 4 number 4 relay is on now and we want to check the continuity because when the voltage are 0 0 at this terminal at that time we will use the normally closed contacts continuity center pin and this pin is now off this pin is now on so we will use the last two connections because we want to allow to pass the current so we will use the last two points when the relay will change its condition at that time it will open these two points I will take the positive voltage of this battery and we will take the ground side of this charger and we will connect to the ground pin so this is ground pin and now we will connect these voltage 
to the center pin to the common pin because we want to pass the current from these close points so positive voltage we will connect here the negative voltage are now connected and now we will connect the second end of the relay to the I will connect positive voltage to the battery here this side here and now I will connect my multimeter sorry here I want to connect a resistor to control the charging current so it is 6.8k resistor that that will more good so the battery will charge slowly slowly voltage negative positive yes now we correct it now I will apply power we can see the battery voltage are now increasing and the still relay is off because it is now passing the current five point two volt five point two volt okay I will set it here this time the command is available because this is inverted drive relay when the power is low voltage or low at that time it will active we can change in the command we can change the condition from low to high high to low yes I will change the resistor because it is charging very slowly Okay, now I will change 220 ohm resistor that will give some fast charging Char as I remove the charger the voltage are dropping now now I am connecting the battery yes at 13.4 volt the voltage are dropping now that's good yes now it started charging again now it is discharging because in software we applied 9 volt I think 9 volt range at 9 volt it will drop when it will charge because it is charging fastly as I connected 220 ohm resistor so now let's change the uh, voltage discharge voltage this is 9 volt I will put it to 4 volt upload it now I uploaded the 4 volt program battery is charged and now the relay disconnected the power supply and it will wait until the level will reach at 4 volt whatever value you want you can add this add the value in the code and it will work nicely I will give the link of this software in the video description you can download it if the video is good hit the like button 
if you have any question please write in the comment box at four volt it will switch again yes wonderful now it is charging disconnected at 13.4 volt disconnected if you want to change the value of the charging voltage you can also change from the battery level 13.4 you can set any value so this code is working now very nicely when the battery is zero it will allow to charge at specific level 13.4 volt 12 volt 14 volt whatsoever at which level you want to define this code it will work then when it is charged it will not allow to connect charger until the battery will discharge at specific level so this cycle management it will a uh, best addition for your battery life management hit the like button and thanks for watching bye bye assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh